Consider the statement, this sentence is a lie. Is it true or false? If it's true, it's a lie, so it's false. But if it's false, then it's not a lie, so it's true? It's a paradox, a statement that contradicts itself. Logician Kurt Gödel used a similar idea when he discovered a theorem that revolutionized math. Let me explain how. Math begins with axioms, statements accepted as true. Other statements are built from those axioms. Before Gödel, mathematicians believed math was complete, meaning that all true statements can be proven from a set of axioms. But Gödel found a true statement that could not be proven. So, how did he do this? Let's look back at our paradox. The key is that the sentence refers to itself. So that's exactly what Gödel did with math, by translating sentences into numbers. Huh? Okay, here's an example. Zero equals zero. The words correspond to numbers, which become the exponents of the first three prime numbers, giving us the Gödel number 243 million. And since numbers have unique prime factorizations, we can get back the original sentence. Now Gödel could write sentences that refer to other sentences by using their assigned number. For example, the sentence with Gödel number 243 million is true, means zero equals zero is true. Now here's the ingenious part. Gödel wrote a sentence that referred to its own number. The sentence has Gödel number n, and it says, the sentence with Gödel number n cannot be proven. Since it's referring to itself, the sentence is really saying, this sentence cannot be proven. Sound familiar? It's a paradox. But math should not contradict, so the loop must be cut. Gödel discovered a true statement that cannot be proven, demonstrating that math is incomplete. Gödel's breakthrough may have shattered the completeness of math, but it also demonstrated the boundless ingenuity of the human mind.